Hi there, Prairie Plant Girl here. Um, I was just in the middle of making a quick little batch of fast and easy salsa here, and I just thought I would uh, maybe just show you, um, because maybe you're in the same situation that uh, I'm in right now. I've had a big bowl of uh, green tomatoes that I picked out of my cold frame. They've been sitting here. This is actually, I've moved them down to a smaller dish, where I had a pretty good size amount, and uh, most of them have all ripened up now. So I took them this morning, all the ripe ones and I just cut the tops off and stuck them on a tray like this in the freezer and now that they uh, are a little bit frozen I can peel the skins off fairly easily and uh, chop them up and I'm just going to measure them out and just use like a, a prefab mix with some vinegar and the tomatoes and just make a quick salsa and I thought you know you don't always have to be fancy but we always want to be able to use up what we've harvested even if we don't have a lot of time so I thought maybe you'd be interested to see something I do with my harvest and just a, a quick and easy way to use up some of these last tomatoes now um, I also found that these tomatoes out of the the cold frame the last few that I picked they're not super flavorful um, once they ripen um, sometimes with green tomatoes that happens and so I don't know if it's just because they were so green when I picked them or because um, they were grown in pots and maybe the nutrients were getting low in those pots at the end of the season um, and that just took away some of the flavor but uh, they're here I can use them putting them in something like salsa it won't matter so much that they don't have that same flavor and I can still use up this extended harvest that I got out of that cold frame and enjoy something with my own homegrown food. So I'm just going to chop the rest of these up. You can see how easy when you freeze them how easily those skins just pop off and they're still frozen right now. They're just thawed enough to let the the skins slip off because then they're still easy to chop and into nice small pieces and I'm just going to measure them out and get my things prepped here so it's not going to take me long to do this at all so like I said this is just a a salsa mix that I bought at the store that I just you just add your own tomatoes and vinegar to and you don't even need like peppers or seasoning or anything so it's just a really quick and easy way to make salsa when you have tomatoes to use up but maybe not a lot of peppers like I'm in the situation at this time of year and because it doesn't take a lot of effort you can do it in a short amount of time so the Instructions have it for four and a half cups. Leave yeah, four and a half cups of diced tomatoes to three tape, and then you add your three tablespoons of vinegar and a quarter cup of the, the salsa mix there. So right now I've already gotten four and a half cups Oops, out, and so I'm just going to measure whatever else and adjust my ratios to that. And I'm thinking I'll get about three jars and um, you could water bath those jars it'd be a, a great little way to make a, a gift to hand out over the holiday season or uh, if you're like me and you're just not feeling like you have the time to pull out the water bath stuff and get that done you can just seal them up in their jars and put them in the refrigerator in the last for months like that so that's what I'm going to be doing with these I eat salsa on a lot of stuff um, so they probably won't actually last quite that long um, a little tip if you've just pulled these out of the freezer and you want to get going the skins don't quite want to slip yet or like this one they're just being finicky you can just run them under a bit of warm water 
and that'll make them slip a bit better without thawing out the tomato. If you leave them until the tomatoes thawed out, that's fine, but I just find them easier to chop while they're still a bit frozen. So I just have a couple, a couple tomatoes left here. Oh, these ones. I think these are the Japanese black trefelli, these couple here, and they're not... Mine to peel is nice. Some people will make uh, salsa verde or fried green tomatoes. They're green tomatoes that they harvest, but I'm not really into that, so I usually just leave them to ripen. So you can, if you want to slow the ripening, you can put them in a cool kind of dark space in a single layer or you can just leave them in a bowl on the counter all piled up like I did and then they'll cut up and all kind of ripen together depending on the state they were at when you picked them. You don't have to peel tomatoes for salsa but sometimes it's nice just to not have the peels in there. another cup there so I'll add about a quarter more of the recipe to each of these and that'll get me what I need. Put those peels in the compost. So it's supposed to be three tablespoons of vinegar for four and a half cups and I have about five and a half. Extra there, about two thirds of one there. So sometimes I think as gardeners, especially new gardeners, we feel like we need to, you know, do everything from scratch and from hand, by our own produce and that, but. But uh, sometimes it's okay to just use a little bit of a prefab mix to give you a little helping hand. So this needs a quarter cup of this. And it said to shake it up really well before. use it and this mix is full of like bits of dehydrated onions and peppers and things so it actually turns into a really nice little thing so I'm just gonna put like three quarters or so of a tablespoon more in there just to get for those extra tomatoes I put in and then all you're gonna mix it do is mix it up heat it to a boil let it simmer for five minutes and then pop it in some clean jars so it doesn't take long to get that done. So I'm just gonna mix this together and bring it up to a boil and pop it in the jars. So I'll bring you back when I'm at that stage. Oh, it smells so good already. Okay, so this is simmered for actually about seven minutes now. And uh, it's ready to go. The simmering time is really just, like I said, that uh, mix is full of all sorts of dehydrated goodies. So that just gives them a chance to, to 
come back to life a little bit. Um, so I set out some clean jars. I have two here and then I have another one just in case. I think two will be enough and my canning funnel. And because I'm just going to put these in the fridge, I'm just using these uh, these lids here that are for the jars. Um, you could use a snap lid or whatever comes with your jars, but I like the other ones for the for in the refrigerator. So I'm just going to pop these in real quick and this jar will be done in probably 15 minutes. I don't know, it doesn't take very long. So. Because I'm not canning them, I don't need to worry about leaving any headspace really either, which is nice. So there's two jars of salsa made in, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So may not be full of all of my, my own garden things, but used up some extra bonus tomatoes that I got out of my cold frame at the end of the season. I wasn't expecting. And uh, it'll keep me in salsa for just that little bit longer. So uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.